Hello YouTube! So today I want to talk about this game that I just recently picked up called Manlum Lord. And I think that I did mention it several times when I talked about games that I've been wanting to play. And I did buy it new uh, from Japan. And I played around 4 hours, okay? <laughs> and I was gonna do a review but 4 hours wasn't just enough. But at the same time I just didn't feel like playing more. So I want to just talk about the game, and this is not a full-on review. The gameplay might change, you know, in the later parts of the game. So this is the first four hours that I played. <clears throat> so the game is about these two uh, main characters, which are on the cover of the game case. And these are like lords, demon lords, yeah, demon lords. And they are supposed to be very strong, blah blah blah. but. Something happens, and I'm not gonna talk about the whole story, but basically, you lo the demon lords lose their powers. And you can choose between the male and the female character, so that's up to you. I chose the male character, and um, you lose your power, and when you wake up, it's like more of a modern world than where you were before everything happened. And you find some uh, familiar faces who are trying to help you, and other new people around. This person comes along and tells you that you're like this uh, part of the protected species because there are no other demon lords in existence. So you can't really go out and do whatever you want because they're always watching you and because you lost your powers. So in order to regain your powers you kind of uh, have to defeat other enemies so that you can get powers from them. and. Since you can't do the fighting on your own because you lost your powers, you transform yourself into these weapons. So it can be either a sword, axe, or a lance, I think. Spear, sorry, spear. And you help others and they help you because they use you as a weapon. So you get stronger and they get stronger. Win win situation. So that's the story. You just kind of go around beating up enemies and doing errands for other people most, most of the times. And what's interesting about this is that you have these dating sim aspects uh, into it that you usually don't see in these types of games. So the action part is in 3D. You walk around top down view, you walk around in the dungeon, you have a map. Uh, you have different sections and you have to find the enemy or the item that you have to pick up in order for the uh, quest to complete. Some quests you can play uh, over and over and other quests are just once per playthrough because it's part of the story. And the battles are not random. You have uh, the enemies walking around on the field and when you touch them or when you hit them you go into the you know battle mode. So in this action part, you have like this, it's kind of similar to the older Tales of series and you're just walk, you can only move back and forth and jump. Um, you can do some combos, basic combos with a combination of buttons, for example with, um, I don't know, when you down, when you press down and the attack button, you, you know, obviously do a lower attack and you can combine that with the higher attack or just a regular attack and each character have um, their own skills etc and you can even switch to the demon lord once their um, this bar fills up so that if you're in a pinch or if you need more help you can turn into the demon lord and you can do a lot more damage so it's pretty basic and um, since I'm not a big fan of this gameplay, I asked my husband to try it out and he said that it wasn't bad, it's just simple, but it felt like um, there was more to be discovered uh, depending on what you do, how you play and what characters you use. So it doesn't seem to be like a really bad game action wise, it's just that it wasn't my type of game. And uh, once you're done with that, you go back to your base where you live. And once you build up enough uh, like hearts or enough points with one of the characters, you can go out on a date with them. And that's the interesting part, I guess. You can talk to them and you can uh, answer them just like on dating sims. And even within the story, you can choose different dialogue, different uh, answers, so that you 
build up your affection level with a certain character over others. So it depends on how you do this that you get different endings. And I haven't gotten to any of the endings so I can't really talk about that. But it does uh, seem like it'll have multiple endings. I have no idea how long the game is. But um, I'll put that information on the screen. I can look it up. And what I really like about this game is the graphics, or sorry, not the graphics, the artwork. I really like the art, that's why I bought the game. <laughs> I just looked at it and I'm like, oh wow, this looks so cool. But the gameplay itself, I wasn't really a fan of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I guess that one of the bigger aspects of the gameplay is to get new weapons or build new weapons as you progress through the game and you can get different, uh, like, grades of the same weapon so you can get a rank S and it's better and you can like put accessories onto the weapon that you can actually see in the game like the visual changes uh, that gives you different attributes. There is some strategy behind the action part too. It's just that I didn't do much much of that and I was able to play through you know the four hours without losing. <laughs> Maybe once I was stuck but that's about it. Um, but yeah, and also everything is voice. If you like listening to Japanese voiceovers, then that's pretty cool. I like the voice actors, uh, it's very well made, uh, nicely done. I didn't think that it was uh, cheaply made because I've seen some games like these and it just felt cheaper. But this, it looks like they, they were fo focusing more on the characters and their story rather than the gameplay, the action part. So if you're more into the story and that, I think you might enjoy it. But if you're looking for an RPG or action RPG that, you know, <laughs> for the action, the gameplay part, I don't think that this game is for you. But maybe it gets better at the end game. Maybe the story gets more interesting. So I can't really say if I liked it or not. So far, I'm not going to keep playing it. For now because I have other games that I'm going to play but yeah I mean I don't regret buying it because it just feels like a different game compared to other games that have been releasing on the switch at least they're trying something new and different and I feel like I have to give them props for that anyways let me know what you guys thought about this uh, game Magellan Lord and hopefully it does get an international release uh, because you know they haven't said anything <laughs> and maybe because it's a lot of lot of text <laughs> it's a lot of text to localize or translate so maybe they're going to take their time i'm not sure but i do hope that it does get released outside of japan soon so that other people can uh, check it out anyways thanks for watching uh let me know what you thought and hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye